Hello everyone, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome back to Let's Play Major Minor Chapter 2. Apparently the chapter just started at the end of last episode, I don't know. They sort of lead me down what appears to be a trail. I seem to know enough about Terra, but not enough to know about why I'm here. So that's my first question. I wasn't sure what they thought it was. Why they thought it was relevant to lecture me on the current events and politics. Perhaps they weren't thinking about this from my angle and only their own. It makes sense as they seem to have gone to such enormous lengths to bring me here. But now it was time to explain what I wanted to know. Just keep up the pace. Walking and talking is our best interest at this point in time. King Veliquiz has ordered us to bring you to him before nightfall upon successful performance of the ritual. Get this aching feeling that they really don't care about what about the what of things right now. More so the why. Is that right? I nod furiously. Well, King Veliquez was quite adamant in his decision to leave you at W you as a savior. Though truth be told, I'm not sure what we need saving from. It must be something only his eyes are keen enough to observe. It would not be the first time he was able to foresee a threat to our world and take action in order to prevent it. Veliquez both loves and hates the old adage, history repeats itself. He flip-flops semi-daily basis. But I suppose if you live as long as he has, you'll start to see a pattern in the way things play out, and in people. But the circumstances that brought you here are definitely beyond any that, have, that I've encountered. An unknown variant, if you will. <clears throat> Sorry to lose my voice a little. You're very special. In a way, not, not even I know. The king did not tell us what power you behold, or how would you, how you would aid in saving Terra. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to cough. So if that pertained to your question, then I regretfully plead ignorance. I'm a savior? That's outrageous. I couldn't even... I couldn't even save Glace. A savior in demand is trying to hint that you should tell us what makes you so special. I'd like to know as well. I mean, we just did dedicate the last week of our lives getting you on our soil. Aside from the player scheme, I mean. Conrad, don't be so demeaning. Don't read into my words like that. That would actually be a hard decision to make. Do I trust them enough to tell them? Oh, I've just uh, deduced something. Those midnight murders were the attempts to teleport me. <clears throat> I remember one of our options on the questions was what the Midnight Warders were, and that's the the people who made it over into this dimension being teleported here. That should be a hard decision to make. Do I trust them enough to tell them? Does that, I mean, I don't know if that means Clace is actually dead or not. He might be teleported here. I barely know them. Who's to say that the intentions of the King are pure at heart? I need to think very carefully. I urge you not to tell us. Oh. If it were something we needed to know, Veliquiz would not have held, withheld it from us. I trust that he is looking to honor a noble cause with your presence here. He has done little to prove otherwise. Do you have anything else to ask? If it isn't our ability to answer, we will. I stop and ponder, though I'm glad he came to a conclusion on not pushing me to reveal my power. I don't think it was a decision I could make right now. I still don't know what our power is exactly. Is there anything I really needed to know? I know where I am. I know these men are. I know who these men are. I know where we're headed. One question I did have. Seems like it would have to wait until we got to this king. The rest of my questions were related to the Ark or Earth. My clays and what would happen. I submit none negatively. I guess I'll just have to wait. But for how long? Shouldn't be much farther now. We're making good time. We should probably get them to fill out the form in the minute. We can't let them live in Terra undocumented. Right. Form? Everyone that immigrates into Terra has to fill out a standardized form. It helps keep track of numbers, but also f helps them find a suitable job and a way of life on Terra. I know you're not actually going to be living here forever, so it's nothing more than a formality, Savior. To all prying eyes, it must seem like you are a normal person here to make a living. It'd be very stupid to advertise who you truly are and why you're here. If Lord Player were to see you, see you with us, I suspect... I'd, he'd suspect to see these papers immediately. Immigration forms? This is starting to feel more and more like her. Perhaps I'm not as homesick as now, now as I was earlier. 
friend of mine reaches into his pockets and pulls out a parchment. He then pulls out some sort of writing utensil and starts to write down on that parchment. Girl sworn light for off to a good start, as I already knew your name. I'll just answer the questions that I'll pose to you honestly. Conrad looks at me and smirks. Though it seems sim silly and arguably random, but laws are laws. Since we're almost out of town, I'd rather not spend the rest of my rest of the way in an awkward silence. I hate those. Another safe point. Pay attention to the questions. Think about them carefully before answering. The way you answer will change your character acts and a scene in the world of terror. So now are we picking our gender and stuff? This has an influence on both major and minor events that take place in Terra. Answer as yourself to make your character act and be represented more like you. And well, this first one is self-explanatory, but you'll definitely still have to answer. Are you male or female? Uh, this character will be male. I've already named him a male name. This is why this should have been at the start of the game. But they might not know, know, have known how to do that at the start, when they started making it. And a good looking one of that. Uh, starting with the obvious, I guess. I'd rather not, guy. <laughs> would you prefer to be a leader in the ranks or a follower? Or would you rather be an Inman or a Conrad, in other words? Probably makes more sense for us to be a leader. It did take you for a leader after all. Someone labeled as a savior would definitely be a shepherd. But leadership is so restricting. You don't have the truth. You don't have true freedom as a leader. Um, yeah, you do. You have more freedom than a associate. <laughs> Let's see here. Do you consider yourself skeptical of others, or do you trust easily? I think I know the answer to that one. Um, I've been pretty skeptical this whole game, so I'm gonna go skeptic. Wait, I was wrong? Well, I've been the first time, Conrad. Hey, that's not nice. I thought I got pretty good. I got a pretty good read on him. Right. During military conflict, would you rather be in an attacking position or a defensive position? And now we're digging a little deeper. Remember, there are no long answers. We're simply defining you on paper. To that end, what strategical stance do you prefer? Well. Mathematically, defenders win more often. Although being on the offense means you're doing pretty well as well, but I'll do defender. Well, you know what they say, something about a good defense. Not that I would have picked, but then again, look at the profession I'm in. Conrad, you would be wise not to judge other people based off their outlook in life. This recipe for disaster. Now I'm allowing us to move on. <laughs> Uh, would you be able to t would you be able to take a life if it meant saving the lives of countless others? Uh, that's kind of kind of what we do every day. Do you think you'd be able to do it? Take a life for the greater good? It's a little loaded how they've <laughs> how they've written these answers. I would have picked something a little bit more neutral one way or the other. That's what I thought can't be the savior without getting your hands a little dirty, am I right? Maybe we should welcome a third member into our unit, Inuman. I have a feeling they are meant for much greater things, Conrad. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Alright. Almost done, I promise. Running late to your destination. The paths before you are follows. There's a short but dangerous route, and a long but much safer route. If you take the long route, you'll be least you'll risk being late to your destination. I can say for a shorter risk. Kind of depends on like how much risk, to be honest, and like what the penalty is for being late. <laughs> so long and safe, I guess. Kind of like what we're doing right now. It's incredibly boring. I'd kill for something to jump out at us right about now. I think in the mind, whatever want to go off the beaten path, given how urgent our mission for the king has been. Put the savior at risk? Why would that be a good decision to make? I didn't say it would be a good decision, I'm saying it would be a fun one. Conrad weeks at me. I shrug it off. <laughs> Just one more question, I promise, besides we're almost out of time. About time. Do you prefer the company of others, or do you prefer to be alone? Well, given this game is all about talking, I'm just going to say that I like company, even though probably in real life I like to be alone more. Let them know that I like the company of others. Glad to hear it. I was starting to hope maybe we were getting on your nerves or something. That'd be pretty lame after we went through so much trouble to get you. 
Conrad, I apologize for the way he speaks. Unfortunately, etiquette is not one of the things I'm required to teach him. However, fortunately, we have concluded the questionnaire with perfect timing. We're immense away from town. Sorry if it's not something you expected or wanted to do, but for your own safety, we must treat you like the rest. Exception to this regard, we certainly cast suspicion upon you. That's the last thing we want. So where are we going into this town, anyway? We'll have to stop at the Wayfarer's Tavern. We'll drop off the papers and then check to see if we have received any mail. Oh, you mean from Kaelin? Deep. Come on now, we're moments away. He was right, I start to see the town reveal itself with each step forward. By the way, I don't know any of the story of this game at all. I just know I'm not as much as you guys do, because I'm not actually involved with like what my my first uh story is going to be at all or anything. Deep into the night of Clay's death. So I can take my mouse cursor off there, huh? There's no reason, real reason for it to be there. I must admit, it seems rather suspicious. I never did believe in these midnight deaths to begin with, or rather the fact that they always happen at midnight. Media likes to romanticize things far too much, but to affect one of my own idols. Mere days before the debut of their debut of the tour? No, that has to be a con coincidence. Oh, no sin, sir. I mean, sir. Sin is fine. Closer to that, the Rocky. Alright. Social media exploded at the announcement of Case's passing. We'll be unable to play it off as a hoax to buy time. I'm not sure how we'll spend this exactly. Though the current rumor spreading around is that the murder was a crazed fan. The work of a stalker. It can't be. I've observed the workings of the stock of stalkers in the past are much more erratic and far less calculated. This has to do with the workings of a serial murderer. If it was a murderer at all. With their end goal being Clace? Absolutely not. It would be self centered for either of us to assume that. It must be presumed that the killer will act again, and the circumstances behind Clace's death matches with the MO of other midnight deaths. Far too much to be an isolated thing. I don't know, they're trying to Pay him off as analytical, but I think that uh, it'd be reasonable to assume that the deaths would end with Clace, considering that all the other deaths have been people like related to him or something like that. I don't remember the details, but they did mention that it was people around him and stuff were dying. Seems to be their goals became more grandiose. What target would be next then? That's what chills me the most. The larger target? Hmm. What's wrong? I spoke with Jade, and she mentioned that the majority of Midnight Deaths were suicides under mysterious circumstances. There was another half of deaths that were plainly, plainly murders. I was told that Clace died of asphyxiation, but there was no sign of a struggle. Do you really think? Absolutely not, because... After thoroughly searching the scene, police were unable to find anything that could have been used for suicide. The media wanted more attention, so they didn't report it logically. I quickly said Midnight Death and left it at that. I had to pull many strings to find out exactly what happened tonight. So was a murder covered up as a suicide? Not very well either, it would have seen. They appear to have run off with their weapon of choice after the victim died. And this is the same throughout all cases. I believe the police may have been wrong in labeling these as suicides. Especially since all the victims were reported mentally fit. If the killer wanted the world to believe they were really suicides, they would have made it appear like they were. Think about this gives me a headache. So we have mysterious, mysterious suicides taking place at midnight and mysterious murders taking place at midnight, right? It would appear so, though I think the distinction between the two is more blurred than that. I'm sorry for robbing you of sleep, I just didn't want to handle this alone. It's not a problem. Jade and Daz are outside as well, I'll stay as long as you need. Would you mind letting Jade in? We need to discuss how we're going to address this to the press in the morning. Absolutely. And would you stay to keep Daz company in the limo? Try explaining to her in a casual manner what, what I planned with her. Roger. Moments pass. Hello again, Singe. I felt like it's been a while. Too long, I'm afraid. I'm not under the circumstances that I would have desired at all. 
Indeed. I always felt bad that Cleese was being shunned and treated as an ill omen. Just because these incidents started occurring upon our arrival in Tokyo, but I never would have thought that his death would be in, in his absolution. Me either. And how do you think I feel? I didn't buy into the mass hysteria regarding the death. I left him open. I wouldn't have been the f wouldn't have been the first time the media made up trends to unrelated deaths simply to make up for the next big thing. I should have assigned more guards to him. Perhaps this could have all been avoided. I don't think any amount of guards would have helped us stop this event. Have you been working on your alibi? What? You were the last person to see him alive, and you two had a heated argument as well. I'd appreciate it if you stopped that line of thought immediately, Jade. The media will want to know. That is what you asked me from here for, right? To decide what we tell the press? I suppose you're right that in the changes will be... We will need to make the world tour. The amount of refunds that will be demanded, I'm anticipating it... I'm anticipating insanity. That's a separate beast entirely, but first about the how we address the death. I think you need to be as blunt and honest as possible, Singe. Tell them that you don't really know what happened, just that the rest of the world doesn't know what happened. Let them know that we are cooperating with authorities to put this to a close. Any findings will be made public. It's important that they feel like they are on the same page as us, like nothing is being held back at all. I suppose there is little else we can do. End of the world tour, this is where we actually have some form of control. Rocker told me what your plan was. I believe he mentioned that he was going to explain it to Daz alone in the limo. But I still have more to say on these deaths. Not so fast. Very well. Remember how I mentioned that there are both mysterious murders and mysterious suicides happening? I was able to learn only tonight that the culprit behind the murderers has been found. And imprisoned quietly. A week ago. What? They have watertight alibis to where they were when the suicides took place. But they came clean to the murders. The murders were the cases where the victims were shot at midnight and the bullets were found at the scene. This does not display the death by asphyxiation that occurred at midnight. They were a copycat killer. I see. So I thought the suicides and murders are two completely separate things, so I no longer have to worry about conflicting MOs and actions. Does this make it easier on us? Unfortunately not. But I know that the suicides aren't just suicides. There's no evidence left behind. No suicide note either. And the victims were all mentally healthy. If it was a suicide, the method that they used to take their own lives would still be nearby. We're dealing with someone who has the ability to tamper with time streams and leave no shred of evidence left behind. You mean like a cop? It would be possible. However, my feel my theory falls into the realm of what is most would consider impossibility. I don't have time for your quantum mechanics, Jade. There has to be a reason for all this. A reason we can prove. They started as soon as we got here. If it's not someone in the police, perhaps it's someone with a background in the field. Jade, yes? Can you please call Clay's personal bodyguard? I'll have him, have him report to me immediately. Saving. Meanwhile, in the privacy of the limo. Hey, Daz. Yes! A female. <laughs> uh, the bird's female, but I like canines quite a bit more. Sorry, just in my own little world. That's fine. I mean, given what happened and all. Part of me is worried. And part, of, part of me hates that I am. I don't find myself worried for Clay's and those around him. I find myself worried about how this affects our careers. Who do you play guitar for? Who will I sing and dance alongside? Forgive my foolishness in placing that above the worry of Clay's death. There's no need to apologize. I thought the same thing. Death is an absolute that fact cannot change. But what happens next to us is very malleable. Worry is normal. Perhaps it's part, also partially denial. I know that that's one of the steps of grieving. Yeah. But I've never seen Singe so emotional in any situation. Idols come and go almost daily in this business. I don't want to be like that. I assume him and Jade are already discussing how to handle the world tour. They'll probably just address the press and then forget that Clay's even existed. I want to feel sad, but I can't. Is there something wrong with me? 
the business they're in is very fast paced. They have to roll with the punches. But Sins did tell me what is going to happen with us in the world tour. That's why I came back to talk to you. I'm thankfully why I'm not too worried about the that aspect anymore. Perhaps putting this worry aside will help you feel the emotions you want to feel. Really? Yeah. Sins wants to avoid issuing as many refunds as possible. So to that end, he's playing at Clay's fan base. The launch of a world tour will be rebranded as a sort of vigil. His fans will want to go, of course. Playing to their grief as a surefire way to maintain maximum customer retention. That's extremely cold. Extremely singe, isn't it? The show must go on, he said. So what's going to happen at this visual? Mm -hmm. I hear the story of Japan's birth. Excuse me? Is that even relevant right now? If you listen, I'd like to think so. Very well. Before the universe, there was just a huddled mass of chaos. It lay there in complete stillness, never moving. But one day, in unexplainable fashion, the chaos started to move, like a cloud forming a hurricane. It moved and moved. Some of the chaos that was light in nature ch rose to the top. This this created heaven, or... Oh, jeez. Taka... Taka Mahara. Let's hope that, that doesn't happen again. They don't say that again. <laughs> it's darkness that couldn't rise to the heavens sunk and formed its own mass. This was the creation of Earth. Between light and the dark, the first god was born. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Amino... Amino... Kanushi. All father of the originating hub. I'm sorry I have to stop you there. I don't buy into this religion stuff. Is there anything about religion a mere spanning myth? Are those not one and the same? Oh! Oh! Where in the world? Oh! Okay. <laughs> Please allow me to continue. A large rainbow connected heaven to earth like a bridge. This was called... Jeez. Oh, Mani no Uken Hashi. Means floating bridge of heaven. Sometimes after the birth of the universes, uh, that two other gods came into existence. Izanagi and Izanami. That's not too bad. <laughs> At this point, Earth was just a puddled mass of water. Izanagi stood on the rainbow bridge, looking down upon it. Izanagi thrust his spear into the mass of water. Upon raising it, he started to drip back down to the earth. These were officers of the birth of the Japanese archipelago, staying above the water to create a landmass. Izanagi and Izanami were then tasked with descending the rainbow bridge and completing the creation of the world. Izanagi engaged in sort of a purification ritual later on, washing his impurities away and using that to aid in his, the creation. The impurities from his eyes created the sun and the moon. The impurities from his nose created the storms. All of his impurities were used to create aspects of Earth as we know it today. After that came people and animals. So conveniently, we're all birthed from impure aspects of some damaged god. I'll put poetic rocker. How does this relate to our to the tour and our careers? I'm about to get to that. Sinjas is altering everything regarding the world tour. The subtlest will play out in a way that symbolizes the story. So itself will also change to reflect the story. It will be a retelling of the creation of Japan. It will also act as a send-off to create his soul to heaven, or Taki Magahara, in the end utilizing the Rainbow Ridge. This is... that is elaborate. I don't think Sinj would do this. I'm sorry for what I said earlier. It's fine. You didn't know. So, will we be putting on a show of Clay's hits, covering them ourselves? Yes, but the concert will end with a special announcement from yourself. Oh? You're going to announce that you will take Clay's place and the tour will go on with you as the star. You'll be performing as to a sold-out audience. This will be your chance to enter the spotlight and become more... I see. We'll act as a send-off in the finale, finale of Clay's career, while doubly being the birth of your own new career. I suppose I should be honored. I will serve as your guitarist. You have my complete loyalty, Dennis. Thanks. I'm not sure how Shock will react to this, however. Him and Clay are childhood friends. Right. I need some fresh air if you wouldn't mind. I'm overwhelmed. Of course. Perhaps I'll join her. I wouldn't stay away from her either, man. <laughs> She's 
pretty good looking. Shuffling sounds from the front seat. Burrow is dead. That character seems really forced. I'm sorry. Valquez's throne room at undisclosed time. Please tell me you've allocated the funds. Of course, my lord. And Amayan and Conrad will be paid upon successful delivery. No delay. Very well, save. Do you have a... Or, it's probably Save? <laughs> save would be a little weird. Do you have any news of their journey? I did receive word, actually. They stopped off at the Wayfarer's Tavern. They have retrieved the savior. This is excellent news indeed. I'm assuming that, barring any unforeseen delays, they will be here within the day. Thank you for informing me. You've done a wonderful job keeping me in the loop and handling my treasury. I do as any loyal citizen would do. Your flattery honors me. Please wait for their arrival at the gate. I have some matters to attend to in private. Of course. Hmm. I suppose it was about time. I need to prepare myself for what's to come. Ryu, you can come out now. Hello, Velquiz. Sorry, that name doesn't convince me. I did not call you here to insult me. Right. I apologize, Master. I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Yes, things are going exactly as planned. No party involved has any suspicions. It's going well indeed, but of course it is. You have me. Yes, now please join me in our thrones. For today we'll discuss what happens next. So it was all an elaborate trick or something. We don't know if it's really a, a trick or not. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but eventually we reached the town. It's my first time getting a glimpse of, this, of society on Terra. Well, is it? We just... Oh, we're not to the inn yet? Because we should have been to the inn already. Well, I can safely say it was not what I expected. I was taken aback. The moment we entered the streets, we were accosted by beggars asking for money and for food. I felt like I was in something below a third world country. It appears that none of this phased Indemann or Conrad, however. Was this a normal experience to them? Skiffily we weave from side to side as we navigated the bustling streets. Every time we approach a, cor a corner, it seems someone new tried to sell us or wears the services. Some weird, but all fishy. I used two assassins as, as shield as we walked through the seats. I stood behind them, yet between them, to ensure I wouldn't stray from the path. It's not a place I wanted to get lost in. So I did my best to blend in alongside them. So I was, still wasn't certain if I could trust these two, but at this point in time, they were my only hope to remain safe and grounded. I needed to err on the side of logic instead of my gut. We turn a few more corners. With all this turning, I'm surprised we haven't ended up back where we started yet. They mentioned we were going to a tavern, the Wayfarer's Tavern, so we're not there yet. We were getting to submit. We were going to submit the immigration papers there and check for mail. Definitely glad to have these two men as guides. Were it not for them, I definitely would have gotten lost. And as a savior, I'm sure the repercussions of that would have been catastrophic. Of course, before I continue my line of thought, the two assassins stop under tracks abruptly. An embarrassing could come to crashing into both their backs. Better watch your step, dude. I'd appreciate it if you refrain from doing that in the future. If an assassin trained to attack. An assassin is trained to attack in such contact. Either way, I only meant to turn and dress you. I didn't mean to cause such disturbance, I'm sorry. I wanted to explain the other aspect of what we were doing. Since you mentioned we were going to check our mail. I was wondering about that, actually. I mentioned Lord Player earlier in our smear campaign against him. We want to ensure that he loses the upcoming election. To that end, we hired a local mercenary to cause an uproar at the South Rally, and we were able to turn his own house boy against him. To help in validity. Not sure I agreed with either of these methods, they seem pretty dirty. But then again, these are assassins. The uproar result resulted in the arrest of Kaelin, the mercenary, and we're still unaware of what happened to the houseboy. However, Kaelin's goal is to plant further evidence in Player's residence, evidence that we will uncover during a future visit. 
I'm sure why Villaquiz wanted him in prison as part of the plan. A stealth mission in the dead of night would have been much more efficient. I barely realize it, but we started walking again. I must have been too engulfed in the talking. Well, we have players' trust, so we are the last people in the world you expect this from. Indeed, the failed ritual has brought several other Earthlings to Terra. We gave them to player for proper immigration. We are def definitely on his good books. In fact, you're the only one we have actually brought to the tavern. But then again, the Sabiazi must blend in. So we are hoping that we've received word from Kaelin. This will let us plan our next actions carefully. Inamayan and Conrad stop in their tracks again, but this time it's because we've arrived at the tavern. Erosworn, once we get inside, it would be best for you to keep a low profile. Try not to bring any attention to yourself. It would be most unfortunate if any unwanted conflict, ha conflict happened inside. Take it from me, this place can be busy. Many people from all sorts of worlds come here as part of their immigration process. Try not to stare. Roger that. After a few moments of silence, we enter. Oh, we're out of time for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.